I would've put it all on hold Now I'm playing in the sand till it turned to gold Might as hands, but we all grow old Can't have my soul, let my heart turn stone Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught Yeah, I'ma take my chance till I drop mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you Going no duh, dumb I thinking Me and you, I guess it's over It was a rainbow, but we're sinking Lost my you I might come running back When our hearts get back on track When the stars line up, that's that I've been attached, just looking out We move so fast, was moving south Through my secret sauce, move in and out Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth You know this ain't The time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space Love it when you toss it back, love it when you talk back Girl, you get me off track, so off-white track so Just so I can floss, yeah With my new bitty sheen, let my it's off, yeah Could've uh -huh. been Guys, it's Tuesday, it's the 5th of July And as you can see, I was doing my stretches just now uh, uh, I have to do it around like 30 minutes or so And I can do it like probably 5 times for the day or so Depending on how much I can tolerate I Sometimes I do once or twice depending as I say so it really helps with the muscles and you know it helps me off to a good start after getting out of bed because uh, yesterday it wasn't anything like this though yesterday I was pretty much in bed all the time I was not having a good day yesterday yesterday was considered to be one of the bad days it was because uh, I had so many plans for yesterday and everything was pretty much eliminated based on how I was feeling. I, I couldn't take on much. And that's the thing with this kind of chronic pain. It it can control you in a sense. It can because if you're not really having a pain-free day. Uh, well, <clears throat> there are no pain-free days. But um, if you're not able to have a day where the pain level is not so high, then your activity, your activity for the day, they're, they're just going to be limited. And that's the truth of it. At times I feel like when I come over here, I talk about this condition too much. That's how I feel sometimes that I'm telling what my, what my week is like, or my day is like, and this is pretty much a part of what I do when I'm at home. So if I'm talking too much about it, you guys can tell me, but, um, at times I just want to create awareness as well. Cause, um, for quite some time, I had this issue and I, I never knew it was taking so mo so long for them to diagnose me and all of that and I've explained it on here before so at times I just do it for awareness that if people who are suffering from pain in this manner then you know they'll kind of you know have something to work with but nevertheless as I said um, the stretches it really helps me to a good start um, so I have a lot of plans for today. I want to do the laundry, but the, the weather outside is pretty looking bad. And, you know, we use a good sunlight to to do the drying. So I don't know how that is going to work out, but we'll see how that goes. And um, what, the, what other activities do I have for today? Uh, I don't think I have anything else planned except for doing the laundry. Maybe Tyler and I will do some baking later on in the day. Um, we did try to do some baking the other night and um, we did some potato pudding. Yeah, that came out well. Did some rat bun that didn't quite come out so well. I don't know why. <laughs> well, yes, I do know why. <laughs> I added too much of one ingredient and um, had to toss that. It's the first time I'm actually tossing something when I'm actually baking it. It's the first. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, um, we'll be making something later on because... Um, he likes this stuff like rock buns and puddings and yeah so and i enjoy doing it too as long as i have the strength to do it then i will do it you know once i don't get fatigue or anything and then he's there to mix the stuff so i won't fatigue easily because one of the um issues with this problem that i have with the mps is that yes there's pain but there's also fatigue um the fatigue is what i'm afraid of but like doing something you walk from here to over there and you feel like oh my god your heart is racing your chest is busting out you feel like you have done a whole day's work yes at times that happen happens it doesn't happen all the time but there are days that like for yes for example yesterday as i was talking about 
I was pretty much fatigued and in pain. Yeah, man, the pain is real. It is real. The, the struggle is real. I can tell you, the struggle is real. It's real. But nevertheless, it's something that uh, I say you have to be diligent and you just work through it. And family support, I always say, is very important because if they don't understand what is going on, then people will actually think you're just lazy and don't want to do anything. <laughs> But that, that's not the case with me, okay? I actually want to do stuff because on my good days, I want to take on the world. And, you know, thank God my mother is there to say, mm -hmm. eh, eh, you leave that because, you know, once you go do that, you retire for the day. You mash up for the day, so leave it alone. Because I'm pretty much like that. You kind of like want to hit back into default mode once you feel like you're okay. And I tend to do that. And probably that's my problem more than anything else. Once I feel good, I'm up like this morning now. <laughs> feel like me want to take on the world, but... Yeah, I'll just leave that to time. Yeah, the laundry is good enough. And as I said, outside is looking a bit like it's going to rain. So maybe I'll not do that today. I'll focus on other stuff. So, uh, yes, but I did say that today is the 5th of July, didn't I? Um, a couple of days ago, I did celebrate my birthday. So let me do this in the meantime. I did celebrate my birthday, guys. And, um... That day, I wasn't the hottest either. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. I just stayed at home. And and I ate some KFC. That's what I wanted. I didn't want anything much. And for me, it was better than last year. Last year, it was in bed all the time. And no family was around. So it was pretty much in pain. Not having anybody around. And yeah, but this year, the difference is pretty much in pain. A lot of pain as as much as last year, but the difference was I was with my family and that made the world a, world a difference. So even though the pain is here, oh my God, the rain is coming down. I'm actually looking on the outside and the rain is actually coming down. So boohoo, me and the washing today, that's not going to work out for me today. But that's fine. I can do it on another day. I'll just, oh man, I really wanted to get that out of the way. But... So good. It's life. No, it doesn't make any sense when you wash your clothes and you go put it on the line and then when you put it on the line they wet up and then the clothes them smell raw and you're going to have to take them back out and rinse them again and I'm not into that. I don't have energy to do that either way. So I don't know guys and the sun is actually out so I did manage to get my laundry um, started up and everything. But someone just came and they brought some nice mangoes. This is Julie and this one I don't know what it's called but I'm going to say big mango. And I've already washed them, so I'm going to peel this one. I'm going to have it for my lunch. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to get into peeling the mango. Yeah. Why am I to take a knife at all? I'll take a sharper one from over here. Yeah. This one is sharp. Don't mess with this one, the sharp one. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Who wants a piece of my mango? Ooh. So them kind of mango, you know, it's not the type of mangoes then that you want to, to, to eat with, just peel it and eat it with your teeth like that. No, me not like the big mangoes them like that. Like the common mango, me I go peel with my teeth and eat it. But like this, I want to peel it and slice it. Yeah, me like it like that. Yeah, that's how I like it. Smell good, you see? This really smell good. Smell good. Woo! I, I just had some mint in the day too, you know. It's the good authentic mint that is actually grown like in the backyard and stuff like that. I got some the other day. And it was dried and everything. I tried to plant it when my mother tried to plant it and in a catch. Look like she not have the hand to catch things. But it actually tastes good when you boil it and it, oh God really good let me slice it what after me never know so me now me gonna see this I thought you guys were seen I thought you guys were actually seen were you seen whoa look at that mm. Mm. sweet of it <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Tyler, yeah. you want a piece of the mango? 
Eu gosto. Ok. This is good. I'm gonna keep peel the rest and give mama a piece. Oh, Susanna, she's here. She's working from home today. Mm. So look at him and the air and the game. Eh? Look at him there at the game. I'm not, playing, I'm not playing any games. What, what are you doing at the phone? I'm trying to get um questions so I can add the surveys so I can get Google points. Google points? Yeah, if I get Google points, I can redeem them. And oh. When I redeem them, I can get like three diamonds and so. Three diamonds? Mm -hmm. right. Oh, that's what you use on the game. So uh, in other words, you're playing games. I'm not playing games, I'm trying to get things with games. I swap countries just to get in games. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, but you're good though. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. You know, he has been such a, a good little boy this morning. He actually helped me out with the... What did you help me with? Tell them what you helped with this morning. Dishes. That's good. Yes, because it's summer and of course you're going to be here giving your mom help and everybody else you just can't get up and play game 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 not true yeah right so once you get to do, do your little chores you know because we have to teach them to do these little chores you know because i know how to wash dishes oh you know how to wash dishes what else do you know how to do dishes and? bathroom um wash my own underwear okay good boy wash slippers okay good so you're learning stuff and we're gonna bake later right yeah i'm gonna bake later more rock buns yeah spoilers Spoilers, <laughs> you can't tell them. I already told them that we, we messed up that one, but we tossed it. It's all right, we're gonna make some good ones this afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, later. I'll leave you to it. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm gonna give Auntie some mangoes. Knock knock, okay. not, not, not you, Tyler. Knock knock. Yes, you want to take me a vlog? Can I vlog? Yeah, all right, so. Susanna is working from home today, as I told you guys. You want mango? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are going with. Hmm? We are going with. Nothing? Mm -mm. mm. Nothing? Uh, you have computer open and thing. You not put it on there for people, show people their business. Uh -huh. We have the upload report. Mm-mm. I'm not important, I'm here. First part time on. No, I think you'll try to like, make it minimize by adding on the stuff them from earlier so that when you reach to the point, they'll just make one no, grand thing. Have a, we have a, a meeting from 1 to 5 now. From, from 1 to 5? Mm -hmm. I mean, just hope so you could have the camera go to junction, but you know, I'll go work out for today. Can't me, then again, because I need to go to the bank, so I do have to do that from early in the morning. I mean, they want to get some grocery too, but yeah. So I go close and not even done wash it, so. Were you good though? Mm -hmm. So is there any message that you want to, 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 to tell the vlog with regards to National Council on Drug Abuse? Is there anything new out with mm -hmm. regards to Mali and all of these stuff? Because I know you went to do a presentation the other day. And she was on news the other day, guys. She was on CVM TV. And you still have a clip of it? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You have to go send it to me, me insert it so that they can see it. I guess some people that see you too, because you say people see you and tell you about it. Yeah. Right, and yeah, so. That's it. So nothing about Malia, nothing about, nothing at all. I'm not talking about but my brain depends on that, you know, I focus. Me yeah, focus, all right. I have right, so. something to prepare for. All right, I'm going to make you focus. Get to some water. Get to some water. All right, yeah. so you know what I'm going to mango. Oh, I think I can give me peace, you know. No, man, me eat mine already. Oh. I'm mm, going to peel the other one for daddy now. I know, know daddy doesn't love mango, so... No, no, no. Alright. Alright, later. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, this is the plant that Susanna bought the other day for me. And it has grown so beautiful. It's really growing nicely. At the moment, I'm just going to wipe the leaves, you know. They're a bit dusty at the moment. So, look at how beautiful it is. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Uh, uh, Susanna said she was told that it could be transplanted because if you notice there are two yeah you see that like there are two separate plants my mother says she knows how to do it so I have a pot in there maybe she'll help me to sort out that by putting them putting one of them into another pot because look it's really a beauty guys and if I never told you the name of it uh, her name is actually Dorothy Susanna was the one who named it by the way 
Dorothy. I don't know where she get that name from or why she came up with the name Dorothy, but that's her name. And I'm just gonna clean up Dorothy right now. You need to keep her clean and fresh and nice. So I have some water here in this little container, and I have this disposable rag that I can use, and I'm just gonna wipe off the leaves. Yeah. Time is pretty dusty, so you know you want to keep the foliage clean and nice. You, know, you want to nurture them just like you'd nurture a child. And this for me is quite therapeutic. Very, very therapeutic. I like to see when they're actually glittering, you know. See, but you have to be gentle. The leaves are actually sturdy though, so they're not flimsy or anything like that. And I'm so surprised with the amount of leaves that the amount of foliage that I have now because when we got it it wasn't so many. So you know me really I take care of the plant. I'm really taking care of Dorothy. And I enjoy doing it guys. It's very very therapeutic. It's one of the, the things that keeps me distracted. It's more like diversion or therapy for me. So whenever my pain levels are high and stuff, these are the things that I focus on. And it's good. So I did ask in the comments, I did ask on one of the videos the other day for you guys to comment some questions down below so that I can do an updated Q&A and someone was asking, what is the only question I saw? Because every sound on not engaged, I don't know why, ah, but anyways, um, that person asked, look up yourself, you know yourself, you're always supporting um, for me to comment on my mental health. How am I doing? And thank you for asking. That's a very good question because given the fact that um, I have MPS and if you do read about it, you'll know that of course it comes with, it's basically chronic pain, chronic muscle pain. So it's a chronic pain condition, but with chronic pain comes other symptoms and it can affect your, your mental health and that is quite understandable because uh, the fact that if you get up in pain every day, every day, and there is no relief from that pain, can you imagine how you'd feel being in pain every day? Just think about it. So, so yes, that's one of the issues having chronic pain, whether it's MPS or fibromyalgia or CRP. There are so many of them out there, different chronic pain, endometriosis and all of those stuff. Because you have to deal with pain on a daily basis and that's not quite flattering so I'm okay at the moment I'm good I'm doing well I'm in a good space and how I handle it as you see I try to do this stuff to distract me from the pain when the days are bad I really try to, to avoid so a lot of my strategy is avoidance <laughs> so if I know that something is really going to bother me like that I try to just avoid it on a whole so if it's not going to add any value to me at my life at this point I just avoid it altogether uh, like for example well I'm just saying so I know because you just have to accept what it is and acceptance is one of the keys because if you don't accept you'll get up and and murmur every day and then the quality of life will decrease but for me I have accepted what it is that I'm no longer able to do some of the things that I would have wanted to do and it I consider it temporary because I'm working on it so once I'm over this phase then I'll be back to normal and be able to do what I have to do but for now I accept it for what it is because when you deny stuff then you you try to pretend as if it's not there and then you end up hurting yourself so acceptance is key so given the fact that I've accepted I know how to avoid certain things so for me going out once I, when I just came, I used to go out with my mother and my sister quite quite a lot and I'd want to go out more to be honest but it's not a good thing when you're actually out and you're not feeling well and you're gonna be complaining that you want to go home. Everybody else wants to be out but you want to be, to go home. So I try to avoid situations like that, that. I don't put myself in those kind of situations, you know. I'm not going to go. Because I know by the end of the day, I am going to be so fatigued and I don't want to be like a whiner. Nobody wants that. So, and for me, because I know how to keep my own company, I know how to do that. I know how to engage my stuff. There's a lot of stuff on the internet for me to do. There are times I feel like there's not enough, 
there's not enough hours in the day for me to get to do some of the stuff that I want to do. So it's not like I'm bored when I stay at home or anything. Because I know when I go on the road, it's going to be problematic if I go to on the road twice for the week. It's not good for me at all. Because it's not in my back alone. The back is getting better, you know, believe it or not, guys. The back is actually getting better but because the condition has spread to my legs and my hands and everywhere. It's everywhere, to be exact. So... If it was just the back, I would be fine because the back is not even giving me that much problem. It's basically my legs now and my thighs. So when I do put pressure on it, then it's very painful and it's fatiguing. So I have to be working on that. So as I say, I try to avoid situations that I know will flare up my condition. Yeah, because if you're not in any pain, then there's nothing to stress over. My day is just, I want to have pain three days. And pain-free day for me. <laughs> oh boy, I can't remember when last I've had a pain-free day. I have pain every day, but the level of pain is not the same all the time. It's not. On my good day, like today, I want to take on the world. So you see me, I do this and that, and we just have enough to take it easy. Because the, the good days will fool you that you are in total remission. You are in total recovery. You know, it can fool you like that, you know, and... I feel like I want to do everything right now. I want to go to Junction. I want to go to the supermarket. Because I end up doing those stuff less these days. And sometimes it's the best for me. Because when I go to the supermarket, I want to go to the whole world. And it's not like me at work now that me have to go, me go one go to the supermarket and go to the whole world. world. So many I don't know how to budget when it comes to food. And that was therapeutic for me to shopping. That is always therapeutic to buy the household items and the groups because I'm not the type that's gonna buy a whole lot of clothes and shoes but food for me I will spend money on food I don't have a problem spending money on food so these days if anybody's going on the road I'll give them the money to buy what I want you know the special stuff then what I need for myself and yeah how else do I deal with it I always say family support is very good that is very good they do understand that I am not in the best of health and that is very important for them to understand that I cannot do certain things so if I get up on a particular day and not feel like doing anything nobody will have me up for that because they know they know that once I'm feeling good I want to do everything yeah what else apart from my therapy with my plants and watering them uh, all right so what else do I do to manage my situation most of it as I say is actual avoidance so even the other day like I really want to go to church and all of that and yes if I go I do go it's not a long period of time that you have to stay but when people are gonna ask me certain questions every Sunday when I go or each time I go I get annoyed like when are you going back to work I have already explained my situation let me tell them say me go go back at work. Make me wait and don't see when me go back. But so for me, like questions, I know that some of them they do have their best interests at heart and everything. But you know when people keep asking you the same questions over and over, last person I asked me is like, "You really not going back yet?" And I'm like, so my I remember my face was like, no, and I I didn't say anything else. So the person figured more or less I just didn't want to talk about it. Like I told you what the situation was already. What is it, you know? So a lot of stuff I avoid. So because of that, I was kind of like avoiding that. Like, you know, I told them in our book, I'm not going to go to the And it's probably not a good attitude to have with regards to church, but I read my Bible and pray. But I'm not going to put myself in situations where people are going to ask me questions that I'm not wanting to uh, that I don't want to answer and I don't want to be rude to anybody because if I've already explained what it is and you're gonna keep on asking me I find it very annoying <laughs> I do I do so I avoid that so I avoid that situation <sighs> only if you're feeling it you'd actually know because sometimes people be like you're but you're smiling and you're doing this and you don't look sick and you don't do uh, is there a particular look for when somebody is actually sick is there tell me is there a particular look for somebody being sick yeah because even when i was doing the vlogs because i can't remember somebody saying it to me that you know 
someone who keeps up with the vlogs say, but she should me watch the vlog them and she don't look safe. Well, how am I supposed to look? Because I don't come over here and show my moments when I'm actually at my worst and you know, tearful and all of that. I don't show that. I show the part that I choose to show, <laughs> you know? Because not because it's not happening on camera doesn't mean that it's not happening, but a lot of these stuff I do to protect my mental health because that is a challenge that comes with the sickness. You can get really depressed. You can. Depression is real with this kind of illness. Yeah, you get up in pain every day, you're going to feel depressed. But no, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. I'm in a good place. So I'm actually in the process of editing a vlog that I want to post for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 6th of July and it's a graduation vlog so by the time you actually see this that vlog would have already been posted and um, I really wanted to start it from yesterday and I never had the energy to start yesterday so today is a better day for me as I say so I'm just getting to do as much work as I can while I can so you know it's not a lot of physical exertion and stuff but you know working with your hands and your brain basically so I'm happy that I am able to do that right now so hopefully I'll get it done in time for tomorrow because uh, I'm really trying to do vlogs like at least twice for the week but I don't want to make any promise about any schedule or anything like that because once you you're, you're set a, a schedule then you know you have to be consistent and then people are going to be looking out for the vlogs and then you don't want to be in the habit of coming over here to say or to explain why you didn't post and this and because that kind of stuff kind of get old and I don't want to be like that way I'm explaining all the time that I'm not vlogging because this happened and that happened no so once I post a video just sit with me people if I'm not see my post like you know even if the week pass and I see some in a post just bear in mind but probably uh, have a bad time and I don't post I just don't want to get into the habit of explain all the time why I'm not posting because as I said it gets really old yes so I'm um, but in truth and in fact I'd really love to be posting at least twice per, per week because usually I used to post on Wednesdays and Sundays and then you know that kind of if you notice that wasn't happening for a long time so uh, whenever I post I post I guess but for now I'm still trying to post twice per week because I did post on Sunday and Tomorrow is Wednesday, so hopefully I'll get this vlog in time for Wednesday. That would be nice. That would be really nice, you know. And for me, for the channel, it's good too to be consistent because whenever I don't post for a long period of time, then the algorithm is not so forgiving. It's true, guys, you know. And, you know, sometimes you really put the work into it and then your look is just a certain amount of views. And But I still love to do YouTube, guys. It doesn't matter. Um, yes, it matters about the views. Of course, I'd want to get more um, views through and in fact, of course, that's why we're working on it for it to build and all of that. But I don't get too distracted by that per se. You know, I don't because I love it and it's a way for me to <clears throat> express myself and and a way to distract me from the pain when I'm having it and just to create memories because in the future I can always you know go back and look at these videos to see what my life was like then and how I am now so yes that sort of thing is like creating memories because believe it or not I do watch my vlogs I do and sometimes just to improve on the quality and things that you can do different so I will watch my vlogs trust me I do and as you know I love to watch vlogs too so most of the stuff that I watch I create content like those because those are the stuff that I'm interested in because a lot of the times um some people would like have certain suggestions they would tell me but um i'm like that's not me so i'm not just gonna do certain things that i don't feel comfortable doing because people want to see it once i'm comfortable with what i'm doing even though i'm not even though i may not get the views once i'm comfortable with it i'm i'm all right uh i want to appeal to a certain audience and if you love it, you love it, and if you don't, this that is okay too because there are so many channels on YouTube. There are so many stuff to watch there, and I watch, trust me, a wide variety of stuff. So, I mean, I try to put my content out there. If you love it, I love that. I love that for me and the channel. Yes, I do. And if you don't like it, that's fine too. I mean, 
it's not your cup of tea, it's just not your cup of tea. But I still appreciate all the support that I get. Trust me, I do. I appreciate each and every one of you over here. Trust me, if me not, if me not telling of people, if me not call out to the name one one and all of them thing there, but me go big up a few people since as me I talk now. Tiva so big up your nice clean self. Raj Bai, Hey Jam Dan, Mara Ophelia, Spencer's Vlog, Perry Perry. No, it's not Perry Perry, it's Pri Pri. Princess, yes. Siba Nicola, all I know. All I know, if me not call on the name, cause, and there are people who actually, when I'm on the road as well, they will come to me and tell me, look, shall we, I love the vlog. Big up to yourself, on know yourself too. Yes, no know yourself, man. Anytime I go up on the road, on always I say it to me, say keep up the vlog them, like the vlog them and them thing there. Them ask me so many time when the vlog them I come out. So me like that for me. Trust me, me love that. And even at time Tyler would, at times Tyler would tell me also that mommy, you know I was on the road today and somebody asked if when the when the next uh, video is going to release and Tyler come and tell me people so no know yourself, big up on yourself. Thank you for always supporting, thank you for watching. Yes. Okay guys, so it's the next day of the vlog and Tyler is pretty much in the kitchen doing his thing. He's basically Crumble. whipping up and crumbling the dry ingredients along with the butter and he's doing a great job there, right? That's my boy. So what's the next step after crumbling the, the dry um, sugar. ingredients? Hmm? Sugar. And sugar. And? Egg. Mm -hmm. Mix them up. Mm -hmm. So can I do that? Well, you have to keep crumbling this some more. Keep crumbling it some more, and then we'll move on to that. Oh, yeah, you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. He loves rock bun, guys, and I'm sure as soon as I bake it, I don't know how long it's gonna last for. Like the pudding, how long did the pudding last for? Approximately six hours and two and thirty minutes. Not even a day. My gosh, keep crumbling, keep crumbling. Oh, this cat is taking well to me already. Remember this stray cat, guys? <laughs> Look at him right here. Oh my god. I think she likes me. I think she does. I think she really does. Alright, so it's another day in my life, guys. And I'm pretty much sitting under the apple tree. And I'm amazed by the fact that there are so many apples in the tree right now. They're not quite ripe as they Alright, look at that. Oh my god. Can you hear the birds chirping? Oh my god, and breadfruit. Uh, my mother got a few breadfruits off it the other day. She did roast them. And there are apples in the tree, guys. Wow. Talk about blessings. Blessings on top of blessings. Yeah. So I just finished um, uploading a vlog. I wanted to upload it yesterday. It's a graduation vlog. You'll be seeing this vlog after that graduation vlog, of course. So by the time it was um, finished with last night, I couldn't post it at that time because I really wanted to post it on a Wednesday, you know, but it didn't work out. But definitely today, today is Thursday, so I'm going to be posting it, I think, in the next hour or so because uh, based on the algorithm, the algorithm is quite unforgiving to me, guys, cause, um, because I wasn't posting for such a long time. Uh, because it's not a big channel like that and yes my regular viewers will come over and view at their own pace but once they put it out there and you know if the viewers from jamaica or the region or wherever um they are if you put it out and there and the video is not being watched at the same time then it's not pumped out and then the views are pretty much down on it so the last video that i did honestly <laughs> i did try to put a lot of work in it um the one before the graduation vlog I did and I was so surprised because of the timing that I put it up and then even so I had to put it back in private mode because there was something wrong and then by the time I release it again it's like the the algorithm it's working against me but never, nevertheless I'm so happy that I'm still able to be giving you guys content either way so I'm taking it easy at the moment. I don't have a lot to do today, which is good. And on these kind of days, you know, I pretty much want to, you know, go into Junction Town. I miss going grocery shopping, you know, but um, if I can manage to go, yes, Tyler? All right, thanks. Uh huh, yeah. So if I can manage to go, then I will. I don't know. I, I, th I think I need to get a few stuff. I miss the feeling of going. Even though at times I ask people to buy stuff for me that I want. But I just love the feeling of walking up and down in the supermarket. 
who loves that yeah but I may be doing a little bit of self-care today I may do my nails or do it myself I asked Susanna to do it for me the other day she don't look at me all now so I'm going to try to do something for myself you know them kind of way they I'm just here chatting 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 oh when last have I shown you the pepper guys um I haven't shown you the pepper in a while uh you know because the drought was up on the land at some point so it's not going at the rate it's supposed to but um let's go and see what the pepper garden is actually looking like okay let me stand up yeah Tyler where you at bro Mm -hmm. I hope you're not getting anything wet up here. You're good? All right. So, my pepper guard. Oh my God, look at the trees, little guys. Look at the trees, they're so tall. And this right here is a pomegranate. Yeah. And right in this very spot or near here, we actually had a lychee and that tree just decided never did to grow and we had it for years and not never come of it and it basically dry up and dead now and so kalalu corn my mother got some corn she boiled some corn soup the other day but let me show you the pepper that i'm actually talking about because i do have a pepper look here isn't that a pepper let me be gentle because i can be so rough at times but look isn't that a pepper right there isn't that a big green pepper? I'll be peppering. My plants are peppering. I love that for me. I totally love that for me. Can I show you another pepper? I know there's another one with, with peppers on it, but but you guys get the gist. <laughs> I feel so happy. Oh my God, full farming in effect, but I'll see you later. day at all oh by the way i started to use this essential oil the other night it's not mine that's why i must use the one things so i was inside susanna's room and we were already chatting and you know sometimes you chat and fast and then you see all of these stuff put down on the dresser because she have all her stuff on there and i'm like this essential oil lotus essential oil collagen and it's for overnight beauty sleep treatment so I'm like, I always see people come over here and put all kind of stuff on their face. And me say, look here, me I go up my face to feel nice to go on my bed tonight. But I did. Looks like this is an oil. And when I got up, I got these bumps on my face. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you see my dimple? <laughs> now that I'm getting fatter, my dimple is actually showing. <laughs> Only one. That's two sides, but yeah, can you see the, the, the pimple right here, right around here? It was, they're going back down. And I'm like, this is supposed to be a beauty treatment and I get up with bumps. Derma Supreme, I am not going to use it back. I don't know, Susanna probably just use it for decoration because I don't really see she use it either way. But, <clears throat> what polish am I going to use? I may use this one. It's more um, vibrant and colorful. I, I keep wearing this one, so... I'm gonna try this today. All of it. So this morning guys, I actually had coffee instead of tea and I never had all of it. So you know what I did with the coffee? It was tasting good but I just couldn't manage the cup that I made it was so large. So I decided to save back that coffee and put it in the fridge in this bottle. And now I'm going to make iced coffee. Yes Tyler? Yeah, I'm going to iced coffee because What iced coffee? Ice coffee. I'm not giving you any yes. iced coffee please and thank you. So I'm gonna pour it onto the ice here in my mason jar. Ooh, ice coffee. This is ice coffee, baby. Anyways, so 
I'm gonna add some more milk to it. Yeah, like that. I don't know why these people have to watch the TV so long. And I'm not watching the other day, other type of things. I'm not watching nothing. You know, ever know that people just have on the TV, they have on the TV sick. And then mama with fear phone, she ever with fear phone, ever high. Tasting so much better now. Don't even know what I'm gonna have with this. Oh my mother, they fry some eel. Fry eel, French fried eel. She dipped it in cornmeal. She used to do it in flour and stuff, but she did it in cornmeal this time. It's well seasoned, I can tell you guys. And it's nice with bami. You don't have to me have bami now because I have bami. Bunny there, but I'm come up the bunny. Mm -hmm. Bunny. So this is not going to have to be lunch, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's just, just like fish people. The snake fish is just the hair fish, but it's more meat. Full of meat. Have one too. But the way my mother beat it out, beat out the bone, and I don't feel no bone in here. So I let them ice coffee a bit there. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> All right, guys, so tell and I just checked his results. Just I'm a man, 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 I'm so proud of you. You did. <laughs> It's funny what you did well. Oh my, I'm so proud of you. In the last part of the vlog, you saw us. Um, we were cheering and all of that. We were so happy. So tell the vlog which which um school you're going to. I'm going to Monroe College. Oh, that's nice. So he actually got the school of his choice. That's the first choice to be exact. And I'm so happy he did. It was a lot of hard work with him. You know, the teachers, myself, Susanna. It was a lot of hard work and he did put in the work. So I'm so happy that he actually got the results that, you know, we all wanted. Right, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So um, he's on his way to church this morning. Yes. <laughs> did, you, did you take up your Bible? Yes. My Bible. Oh, it's in your bag. Okay, very good. So his father is on his way to pick him up. So I'll see you guys later. Right, so I'm here and I'm still in my bonnet. Don't mind that. And um, yes, guys, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm so happy that he actually got the school of his choice or of our choice, the first choice to be exact. And um, it was a lot of trading, you know, a lot of hard work. Choloko vitamin in the water. And Susan said she choloko vitamin uh, in the water. Oh, yeah, be there. Yeah. I'm going to give mama say, mama tea. No, I'm not. I'm not going to head on done, you know. You know, I don't know that. That doesn't look like I'm going to drink yeah. yet. Yeah. So, mama, so mama, tea, yeah, see. Mama. And he make one big water and done in the water. And he's not going to go. Oh, they're <laughs> there. <laughs> man, they're going to pass on that till morning. <laughs> not no, man, they have lag. Call me out, give them the boot. Man! Man! <laughs> uh, <laughs> say my call Hooper. Come on, Ah, what? Ah, later. Call Hooper, I say me. <laughs> People who know Somebody Carl Hooper. What happened? Yeah, yeah, long time West Indian cricketer. Yeah, yeah. This girl used to watch cricket a lot. Carl Hooper was a yeah big batsman, a uh, wicket keeper. I saw wicket keeper, not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Ready, Ridley Jacobs. No, who party spinner? Somebody spinner, and could have bought good. People miss stuffy. The stuffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wasn't feeling good from last night. And. Well, not for last night. I went and tell them. Um, Thursday morning when I woke up, it hurt my little. Friday, my little feel weak. Mm -hmm. So I woke up. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, but I feel, I feel much better than the other days. It's just a little stuff in this now. Eh? Really, I throw me off. So you yeah. have to give God thanks. So you still yes, have come, yeah, come on. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. sometimes the body need a little rest too. You need it, you know. And people, you see me have six weeks, but a vacation, ten deal and how much sick leave me not take me to me go on like a sick. Yeah, I'm also but, encourage you to take your time when you take it. Jennifer! Jennifer! <laughs> so yeah. yeah, you must take you must yeah. say, you must take it. You see what happened to me? Because me not normally sick. The sickness, the sickness, you hold on in my bed in a people. If me not too too sick, me not. Any time you see me really take a the M sick day, you know say girl sick. Yeah. Cause me say boy, the, the bed I go hold me, eat and grab me. Yeah. But are you so now we have it true. Yeah, me still I'm stuffy, but apart from that, the body, um. Up, up and running again. Up and running again. Yeah. So okay. tell them how you feel about your your um your nephew. Oh, I was telling them that um major thanks to me. <laughs> so thank you, Father God. <laughs> you <laughs> You're here, you got people. Yes. Major thanks to her. Yes, she have back it if can prove. Yeah, she have back it if can yeah. prove. Yeah. All right, mm-hmm. sir. Major thanks. Know. Everybody know. Mm-hmm. It's up and down, fifty times a day. Auntie do this, auntie print this. Indian government paper for printing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yes, man, I'm glad for you, man. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Auntie put in the work. Yes, Only for work. Tell mm-hmm. her put in the work. Mommy yeah, come man. and put in her Mommy. part. Mommy come and do her thing, man. Yeah, man. The teachers, them mm-hmm. did their part as well. Mm-hmm. Big up Auntie Phyllis. Yes. You know. Aunt, yo, Auntie Phyllis, work yeah. with him. You say your yeah. thing, so you got 10 years to your mother there in England. Yeah. You don't do your work. Look yeah. here, Auntie Phyllis never ramp with him when he go in a grade six, then I ramp with him either. Mm-hmm. Never ramp with him, and Auntie Rebecca, Auntie Sharon, and the whole of them over there. Mm-hmm. Big up great start and a whole because they really did well. Mm-hmm. Right, because it, they got a, um, a lot of Hampton and Monroe, a lot of traditional high school, that's mm-hmm. what I should say. But, you know, based on the choices that they wanted. So, in our area, you know that Monroe and Hampton, they're on the top of the list, and they actually have Black River and States and all of that. So, those are all traditional high schools. So, we got Te- they got te- you hear me? I said we. They okay. got ten for Hampton, three for Monroe. Um, one Manchester. One Manchester, two states, two, two Bishop, Bishop, one BB, B- B- no, two, two BB B- Coke, and one Newell. And one Newell. So they did extremely well. All mm-hmm. traditional high schools, and we're so proud of all the students. Mm-hmm. We're proud of them. We're proud of the school. We're proud of everybody. Everybody do them best, mm-hmm. and we have to give God thanks for all of that because mm-hmm. it look good for the community too. Mm-hmm. You know, we love that. And congrats to all the the, the, the children that. You know? Yeah, congrats to all of them. They all did well. Yes, man. All you may not did be well. School of your choice, but still, when you go to high school and you meet your friends, different faculty, you know. Yeah, and if so, where you go, you will flourish. Mm-hmm. It does not matter. Just to start putting the work from high school, you know, and yeah, and do no best. You understand? Yes. It don't matter which high school you go. Everybody go meet up a university. You know? Everybody go meet up a university, and, and the same syllabus them under the same curriculum. Mm-hmm. Everybody's doing the same thing. Is basically what you put your mind to. So anywhere you go, you will you can actually flourish. You just mm-hmm. have to put on the bad days, put on the game, and all them things there, mm-hmm. and pay attention to your school mm-hmm. work. Yes. Pay attention to the things in life too. And yes. You know, this world. Boy, it's not easy. It is what it is, so we have to ensure so we protect our children at all costs, you know? Yeah, that mm-hmm. is true. And that I is miserable is here for that. Yeah, she they here for that. Well, mm-hmm. I she are the one for that people kind of know, say. Yeah. So when me say, no, say, sir. <laughs> come here to every school, so I say, listen, call me. So being that my brother, ask me, I say, sir. Calls, calls me, me. <laughs> calls me, calls me. All right. So just man, just the settings, you know. Just the settings. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the vlog um, here today. So. We're going to thank you for tuning into this video. Hope you would have enjoyed what we put out there and all of that. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I'm your girl Shawi saying, Peace out. All right, peace out. Bye yeah. bye. You have one clean, I'm clean too. The little floor me up. You're clean, girl. You're, You're clean. clean. You're clean. <laughs> You're nice. <laughs>